Hello Stampers, this is Kim with Great Inspirations. I want to say a special happy World Card Making Day to everyone, and I hope you have the opportunity to make a card today, and then you actually send that card to someone. The card I would like to share with you today is this card right here that I made using the Beautiful World stamp set. I thought that that was a great set to use for World Card Making Day, but I also used for the sentiment on the inside, Free as a Bird, which would be another great um, set to use for World Card Making Day, as it has this great sentiment, the world needs more of you. And I use the sentiment, as you saw, you make the world a better place. So I just thought these two stamp sets were great choices to make a card for this card making holiday. Now, to make this card, I also used the um, coordinating designer series paper that uh, goes with the stamp set and it's called World of Good. And I used some of these nice little gilded gems. I did some embossing. I know there's probably a glare on this. And then on the inside, I used the globe stamp set. You can use whichever hemisphere you desire. And then the thanks for being you comes from the free as a bird stamp set. So how about we make this card? First thing we're going to need, of course, is a card base. And this one is four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. This piece of smoke, this is um, basic gray, and this is smoky slate, and it is three and three quarters by five. And then you're going to need some scrap basic gray, and you will need a piece of basic gray that is four by four and a half. And I used, like I said, that um, designer series paper. And we're going to, um, need three pieces of your choice. I took uh, two that had the globes and then one that's the grid. But these need to be one and a half inches wide by four inches long. So, and then we're also going to need some Versamark, some basic gray ink. We'll need some gold embossing powder and we'll need the stitch shape dies the circle and it's the second largest circle of the um, ones in the set and of course you'll need some adhesive we'll also need an embossing buddy but of course uh, Stampin' Up! doesn't sell these anymore so if you do not have an embossing buddy that's okay just use a dryer sheet it works just as well and I mentioned those <clears throat> gems, those gilded gems, gold and shiny. We'll need three of those, the larger ones, and some dimensionals and some um, other miscellaneous um, things like adhesives. So let's get started. <clears throat> and the very first thing we're going to do is adhere these strips to this piece of cardstock. And I'm I'm using the cardstock as a background for, or as a back, I don't know, I guess a mat, for these pieces just so that makes them easier to line up and we don't have to deal with, the, oh, where does this, you know, the positioning on the card base. So I'm going to get my, out my stamp and seal. Make sure it's started. Oops. Get some on here. What I do is I just line it up as best I can right in the edge, get the first one right and the rest of them, oh, easy peasy. So there we go with that. Taking care to make sure my globes are facing the proper direction. And we'll do, get this on. Let's see, easy peasy. Line it up, there we go. More globes, more adhesive. Once again, line it up, and there we go. 
Now, we'll do some stamping. Let's get this out of our way. First, we'll take the Smoky Slate, and we're going to use some basic gray ink. And we will use the globe, ink it up, and I'm going to put it sort of in the corner here. There we go. And now the sentiment, thanks for being you. Center it a little. There we, oops. Well, you know what, I'm gonna let that slide this time. <laughs> Normally I'd flip it over, but for right now, we'll just let that slide. So there's that, and now we're finished with the basic gray ink, we'll put that away, we'll grab the reverse mark, which as you can see, my pad is kind of yucky from some other stamping I've been doing. But we're going to get our, you mean the world, you make the world a better place? that all inked up. Actually, I want to turn it over and make sure we get a good coverage. Stamp it. Can you see that? And now we'll bring in some embossing powder. It's gold. Cover it. I usually shake it around just a little bit. Okay. Flick it a little just to get off any that we don't want. Looks good. Put the lid back on this. And now, um, my heat tool, the cord is not long enough for where I'm at. Um, but this is the Stampin' Up! heat tool. And I really like it because number one, it has two speeds, but also this um, little shield at the end kind of keeps the hot air aimed at the paper and not your fingers. But anyway, so let's just pretend, you know, we're going to heat set this. And after that um, is completed, you would take your die, run it through the Stampin' Emboss machine, and you get that. So now we're going to get our card base and we're ready to put this card together. Get my adhesive. Put the inside in first, the inside of my little boo-boo. But you know what? It's a handmade card. People kind of expect that. And I might draw a little smiley face on there later. Something. There's that. And now for this. Now, as you might have noticed, I did not center this because I wanted to put my gems here on the side. But we'll get some adhesive. Oops. Get some adhesive on it. Make sure my gloves are facing the proper direction. And then I just kind of tried to be sure there was somewhat of an equal border. It's kind of hard. Oh, oh, there we go. My head was in the way. There's that. And now we're going to get some dimensionals that I had around here. So, oh, here they are. Now, this is a darker cardstock. So you could use the black dimensionals if you like. Many people like them. I've said before, I can take them or leave them. Or you could use the white ones, it's, it's up to you. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the black ones since I have them. Just put some here on the back. Then we'll peel the backings off. Oops, that got away from me. that will kind of center this on these three uh, strips of paper. There we go. And if you like the way it looks, give it a good press. Now we're ready for our 
little embellishments here. And I'm going to use my scissors. I For these, I prefer my scissors. Sometimes I use my take your pick tool, sometimes I don't. And then I'm just going to eyeball, kind of put one up towards the top, the top of the focal piece. Put one more towards the bottom. And then one more, somewhat in the center. And there we go. Here's our card. You make the world a better place. Now I've made some other versions of this card. Here's one that's more of a feminine version and I used the uh, free as bird um, sentiment on the front of that one. And the paper, the designer series paper is from the Flowers for Every Season designer series paper pack. And then here's one a little more masculine. It's, you know, basically this card that I just made, only it's using the um, Plaid Tidings DSP. And then I made one, it's, you know, in general for anybody, but maybe kids. You know, you don't want to forget the kids. And I used the um, Designer Series paper, the 6x6 in the brights with um, Poppy Parade, Daffodil Delight, and Pacific Point. And these are simply um, pearls that I colored with alcohol markers. And for the blue, since we don't have a Pacific Point alcohol marker, I used the light Night of Navy. So there you go. There's some different card, the same card, different varieties, all for World Card Making Day. So I do hope that today you make a card and you send that card to someone. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate if you would like this video and give it a thumbs up and you could subscribe to my channel if you so desire. But until next time, this is Kim from Great Inspiration saying, stamp happy.